All right, I'm going to show you how to install a pitch pan onto our pipe. First thing, you want to make sure that this is a tight fit here. If it isn't, you want to take some batten insulation and you want to make sure that that hole around the pipe is sealed with it. Um, if not, your portable sealer could run through that hole and down inside of the building. You want to make sure it's packed in there pretty tight. All right, we've already pre-primed it. Prime the pipe, you prime this. You actually prime the inside of your PVC ring that goes on here. Here again now, if your direction of flow of your water, you want to make sure that's not bucking a patch. So, because there is a patch that goes on here. So we're going to run this down on this side. We're going to say that the water is running that direction. The next step after you set your ring, you're going to take your outside part of the pitch pan. There's a cut line on them. So you're going to go ahead and cut right through that line. Just like that. Now you're going to take and set this down into place. What's nice about these pitch pans, if you have pipe that's running, there's no way to slip this over the top. They split just for that reason. So, all right, now you're just going to, these are just a peel and stick. We want to make sure that that's down the direction of our water, away from it, so we're not bucking anything. Now you're going to take your paper, your release paper on it, and you're just going to pull the paper back. You want to make sure you pull that at about a 45 degree angle so it's, it doesn't tear easily that way. And then you're just going to go ahead and work that right around. You know, work that right to when you get to the end of it. Now, we have to prime this and put this there. They come with a 12 inch round patch. That's to cover up all of this. And we'll go ahead and get that primed and then we'll show you how to put that on. All right, now we've got our primer dried. I'm gonna go ahead and set our patch over this cut line that we made. Now, I like taking that protective coating off of it. It's just easier to work with. And these are the patches that come with that kit. So, you're gonna relief your, or pull your relief paper off again. Now, you want this to go down to the inside of that, right to the bottom of your pitch pan. So you got to kind of figure, you got about two inches there, so you're going to put about a four inch fold in there. And then you're going to just set that down on there, just like you would an outside corner. And you're going to pull that around. Making sure that that doesn't stick to itself. And you're just going to go ahead and lock them corners as you would if you were doing a, an outside corner. So then you're going to just bring this around. Same thing, you're going to go out to the middle again and then work your edges out. If you don't do it that way, it isn't going to stretch. You're going to end up over stretching on it if you don't do it by pushing your middle out of it first you'll end up over stretching the outside of this patch and you don't want to do that. These are a little bigger than a nine inch. They're actually a 12 inch patch. So it's going to take a little bit more time, but if you just follow this procedure, it'll all work good for you.
Now this inside, you're going to do, that's, you're going to bring this around tight, bring this side in around tight, and that's going to stretch, you just take and stretch it right straight down, and there you might get a, you might get a little wrinkle on that, but it isn't going to hurt anything as far as the integrity of the patch, but it's got to go somewhere. So now you can just go ahead and take your roller, roll everything into place. Here again, you want to make sure you get your corner of your roller there. Make sure this is all set good. All right, so now we're ready to pour, put our pourable sealer in, and that's a two-part mixture. There's a part B and a part A. You can see there's like a pint can that goes inside of the gallon can, and then you want to mix it thoroughly so it'll turn almost into a dark gray color. You don't want any streaks in it. So it's as simple as pouring it in. They all come with a stir stick like I have in my hand and you just actually pour it right into there. You want to be careful not to get it poured outside of the pocket. And you just pour that until it's full. You actually, you're going to make a little dome on the top, just slightly. Now I've primed that pipe as well, so it'll stick to that real good too. And then tamp it down, make sure you don't have any air in there because you want that to be, you know, a solid uh, bond in there. Now when you mix this stuff, um, it has about roughly a 20 minute working window, which means it'll start setting up after 20 minutes and it, you won't be able to work with it after that.